<sighs> Come on. He's training. So, what am I doing on this train? Long story short, I was doing some research on the tubes when I find this guy, Alley Cat, a fellow YouTuber and paddleboarder enthusiast going so far as crossing the Strait of Johor solo and eat at a floating restaurant that most people have never heard about. And in one of his videos, he's talking to Winston Wu, a former IT guy turned full-time outdoors tour guide. His company is offering a bunch of stand-up paddleboard tours around Singapore, and that's where I'm heading today. I booked myself a paddleboarding trip of a lifetime. Winston told me to join up with the crew at Paziris Beach Park. Oh, and he also mentioned that some other guy in the group would film this whole trip for his own YouTube channel. Mr. Alley Cat himself. I'm looking forward to meet this guy, and I'm ecstatic to get back to Pulau Ubin. I join up with Winston, Alley Cat, and the rest of the crew as they are prepping in the parking lot. Look at this. Paddle boards. Paddle boards everywhere. No way this isn't a good day. My significant other today is a board by Red Paddle Company. If you know me at all, you know I'm an eye rocker guy. The Black Fin XL has never failed me before and it took everything that Canada could dish out. This feels like I'm having an affair. But hey, Red Paddle Co. is one of the leading brands worldwide and I am looking forward to take this board for a spin. Hold up, what the hell are these guys doing over there? What's the deal with this tracker? This tracker can track about 65 km. So it's going to chill up in a restaurant somewhere here <laughs> while we track all into the, all the dangerous swamp and uh, crocodile habitat. Good. <laughs> so in case we meet crocodiles and we die, they'll know exactly where not to go. Seems sensible. All right, that's impressive tech, especially considering it comes from the man who stole Mr. Bean's car. This is older than I am, believe it or not. All right, time to get this crocodile buffet on the road. 2.5 nautical miles all the way to Ubin and then back again. This is going to be a long day, folks. And we're off. Going all the way to Palau Ubin today. Yo, where's Alley Cat? <laughs> you guys coming? Yeah. Subscribe. Th yeah, thank you so much. Great start. Woo! Cool. Came back already. Done everything. Good. Enjoy. He's trailing. Oh, dummy. He's not trailing. He's networking. This is why this guy's got more subscribers than you. opted to share footage today so I could get his perspective and he can get mine. That's cool because he's got an Insta360 mounted on the nose of his board and those make for some damn cool shots. As long as you don't stay where the two halves stitch together, in which case you better hope that Biff Tannen get knocked the hell out pronto. See? Who's trailing now, douchebag? Gotta go beyond the wall. I was not expecting traffic. Lots and lots of traffic in Singapore. All right, made it to the Kelongs. These are floating fish farms, and Alley Cat tells me that a bunch of people actually live on those Kelongs. Talk about room with a view. But from now on, we have to book it as hard and as fast as we can, because crossing the shipping lanes is actually the most dangerous part of this trip. Let's go.
all of a sudden, we spot this big ship on the horizon, but it's pretty far away. Three minutes later, this is what happens. Look at the big guy behind us. Keep going. That's as close as we ever get. Jesus, man. Oh, brace. Oh. Woo. Woo. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Wow. Hoo wee. But hey, don't let the drama fool you. We were never in any danger for that shot. We were standing a hundred meters out of the shipping lanes, but still, these big ships cannot stop or turn. So play hard, but play safe. All right, we're almost there. It's about 250 meters. And the interesting thing is I can hear the jungle. The sound of the insects carrying over with the wind. The familiar Pala Ubin sounds. Made it. Made it, yeah. So cool. For the next two hours, we get to chill in the mangroves and up and down the Uban River. This is the magic of stand-up paddleboarding. It gets you in places where you could never get on foot and it gives you a different perspective on the world. Whoa, banana peel. Let's look at our starting lineup for today. Up front is veteran paddler Mikhail, then Winston, whom we all know and love already. This is my man Sid, what's up Sid? And uh, Rocksteady and Bebop. Sorry guys, didn't catch your name. And of course, my boy Alley Cat, bringing up the rear. This is my kind of place. And after chatting with Mikhail for a while, this is also my kind of people. If I ever grow up, I want to become just like Mikhail, the wise man of the mangroves. Speaking of wise men, look at Winston. He's got it figured out, man. Just chilling in the current. Seriously, he's making me doubt my entire way of life. Not bad. Not bad at all. One of these days, far from here, I'll be able to remember this. The time I went paddling in the mangroves of Palaubin. It's a cool memory, alright? Now the tide is almost out and the water is running low. Time to get out of here. What the hell? Tide is dead Oh! You're cool, man! Hey, remember that floating restaurant that Alley Cat made famous? Well, there it is, Smith Marine. What, are you kidding? Of course I want to check it out. Mask on. Look at this. Amazing to think that this place runs on generators. If the zombies ever attack, I'm coming here. Whoa. What? Why? Yummy. All right. Cool. This spot is so popular of late, they almost didn't have room for, quote, walk-ins. Fresh coconut full of electrolytes for me, and jumbo fried calamari for the table thanks to Alley Cat. Hey, look, Mikhail wants to blow our minds with a magic trick. Listen, bro, I've done 20 years of pro wrestling, and I can see through bullshit like that. Holy sh shizzle, man, how did you do that? Cool, he's willing to teach me. Sure is a nice spot. Come over here if you can. You might enjoy. Refueled, rehydrated. The crossing is mostly uneventful this time around. We are going upwind and against the tide. This is about the time I realized that this white boy 
forgot to put some sunscreen on his stupid feet. This is gonna suck tomorrow. But whatever, for the moment, I'm trying to keep up with Mikhail. But anytime I stop to take a picture, this guy is flying off in the distance and I'm not able to catch up. And I'm a pretty good paddler. What up, dog? It's a beautiful day, man. Really worth the trip. Uh, I won't lie, it's not easy. You know, you gotta be in good shape. But it's worth it. It is absolutely worth it. With a little over 60 minutes on the clock, we are home. Thanks to my buddy Alley Cat for letting me trample all over his turf today. Let's do it again some other time, huh? Big ol' shout out to Outdoors and Adventure Learning. Do check them out. Mikhail and Winson are some of the coolest dudes I've met in Singapore so far. And hey, you made it this far. Why don't you go ahead and uh, give me the old thumbs up? It always helps. Yeah, boy! Stand up paddle boarding. Go get some. If you haven't done it already, consider subscribing to this channel. It's easy and it costs you nothing. And while you're at it, check out local boy Ali Cat's channel. It's a fun time around Singapore. Oh, and one last thing. Check out that time I explored Pula Ubin on a bike. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you down the trail. Ooh, crispy Canadian bacon.